Hey guys, welcome back to Bonnie and Clyde Discuss. Today we are talking about the gym. Is it getting more toxic? And is it because of women? Controversial topic. So we have three lovely clips that we're going to delve right into from TikTok that should explain yes or no. And is the gym still the church you think it is? <laughs> Ready to get into it? Yeah. Stand up for myself, he threatens to call the police and revoke my membership. Just because somebody glances at you briefly when taking your pump cover off doesn't give you the right to post a video on social media labeling them as a pervert. Okay, so the clip's a bit small. I've seen it a number of times mm -hmm. before, actually, this one. So she's there working out. She obviously sees the guy in the back that's looking for her for maybe a second, mm -hmm. right? Not much in it. And if you're in a public place like a gym, you should kind of expect that people are going to look at you. We'll mm -hmm. talk about that in a second, right? But she then gets agitated with him for looking in the direction. We'll talk about that mm -hmm. as well, right? Then tries to humiliate him to a certain degree. Said, so, what do you need? You yeah. need something? You need something? You need something? And then it all kind of kicks off and he's like, oh, I'm a trainer here. You can get out of Dodge. Yeah. Right? What do you think? Well, I think it's interesting. She put the words over, like, you know, when the guy bashed the um, the weights, she put the words that he said, oh damn. We don't know that he said that, right? She's insinuating yep. that exactly. he, it, it just lends to the fact that, oh, he's a pervert, he's checking me out. He's saying, ooh, when that's your perception of what happened, you have no idea, you're seeing this out of the corner of your eye. Also, what I don't understand is if that behavior makes you uncomfortable, why do you have to be belligerent towards yeah. these people? Why not just move away? So exercise is a big part of my life. It has been in, in the past, right? I don't go to gym as much as I'd like to, but it's a big part. And and it's a little bit of my like safe space, right? Mm -hmm. I like to go there, I like to put my headphones in, I like to do my thing. And I get that some women treated badly, mm -hmm. right? And, and they, it's not the right place for them. And they yeah. get approached and, and bad things happen to right. bad people all the time, right? But what I don't accept is that it happens so consistently that all we see is these damn TikTok things that just happen time and time again, where women are getting like confronted. It doesn't happen that much. Like you, you don't want to get looked at in the gym, don't go. You know, you can go for a run, you can go for a swim, you can yeah. go play hockey, you can play soccer, you can do loads of different things. Yeah. You do not have not to go to the gym, right? And I take a huge amount of offense as, as the end of the clip, actually. Um, I think it's Joey Swall, I think is the name of it, the influencer at the mm -hmm. end. is talking about like, the gym should be a safe space for everybody. You know, to you to film the guy and then to put in words that we have no idea if he said or not. Right. Like, oh damn, I couldn't hear, I didn't see his right. mouth move. Couldn't see his mouth right. move at all. And then to post that clip on the internet calling him a pervert, mm -hmm. ain't right. Yeah, well no, but I mean, she's besmirching both of them. Mm -hmm. We don't know who they are, but possibly other people on TikTok know. Mm -hmm. And if they see the video without no, any context, they might think, taking her side, oh, this guy is a pervert. Maybe I won't go to that gym anymore. Maybe I won't train with that trainer anymore. And that's not very fair. No, no, I, I think it's well worth her taking a second look and saying, hey, would you mind just like not, rather than going full attack. Right, or also you can get up and move your stuff. If you are not comfortable there, yeah. you don't always have to fight. Yeah, jog on. You know, it's not that big of, I mean, if he was really coming on to her, cat calling, mm -hmm. coming up to touch her, then of course I can understand. And not to diminish her discomfort because of course her discomfort is valid, but I think there are other ways to handle a situation like that. I don't know, I think we can diminish it pretty heavily. <laughs> Let's get on to the next clip though, shall we? Yeah. I hate this, I hate this, I hate with those sweaters. It makes me so uncomfortable. Feral, 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 like feral. There's mirrors everywhere, so it's like you can easily ca catch people. Act. Oh, this is nothing. I want you to watch very carefully. Swatch. There's the five as five pounds. And these are the weights.
I think this is a pick me outfit. And then you, you get mad when he picks thing. you. No, no, it's okay. I got it. Thank you, though. He's just trying to meet you, honey. He is only... He's, look at this guy. He's like, there's a pretty girl. And she also likes to work out. We have something in common. I'm going to go try to be a gentleman and help her. Okay, so we have a wild woman in her natural environment. Wild. Being stalked by the, the predator in the yes. back. Right? Um, and we have the kind of the two people reviewing it. So we mm -hmm. have, again, review inception kind of going on here. <laughs> and... I kind of get it. Like, you know, if, you, if you're if you an interested guy or, or a guy that's interested in people that go to the gym, women mm -hmm. that go to the gym, whatever your, your gender you're interested in is, right? You should be comfortable with at least saying, hey, do you need some help? Can I help you out? Et cetera, right? And then as a woman or whoever's responding, you should be comfortable saying, nah, I got it. Right. Right? And that's the end of the conversation. Should you don't be, yeah. necessarily need to record it, <laughs> saying that the guy is feral, 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 and then politely tell him to go away yeah. and then post it where the internet can, can see. Right. That was my issue with, with this particular topic. Yeah. What do you think? I mean, I think it goes back to a previous video. Mm -hmm. If men are not allowed to talk to women anywhere, okay, then where do you want them yeah. to talk to you? You can't talk to them at the gym. You can't talk to them at the supermarket. You can't talk to them anywhere. So what are you supposed to do? I think that you know, maybe he was trying to hit on her. Maybe he yeah. found her attractive and he did like that they have gym and working out in common. But also it speaks to the fact that like, as a society, we are all spectators. Yeah. All we do is have our phones up and film ourselves, film each other. That's just what we do. We are no longer viewing life through our eyes, only through our screens. I, I get you. And then the, the next point of this one is more like, what is she wearing, right? Because like, gym clothes for guys is you know relatively t-shirt shorts maybe some jogging bottoms it's pretty conservative mm -hmm. for the most part obviously there are some guys that have like g-strings for shirts and stuff as banana well hammock. banana hammocks right in the gym when they go as well and they can be another topic for another day <laughs> but you know a lot of women especially ones that have worked on their appearance to get where they are today they do like to wear showy off kind of clothes. Mm. You know, we're looking at her already. She's, you know, bra strap kind of shirt type thing. I've got the name of it. Sports Black. bra. Sports bra, that's the one. And then kind of pink shorts that cover very little of her leg, mm. right? So she is trying to be attractive, mm -hmm. right? You know, there's maybe an argument to say, hey, I get too hot, so therefore I have little clothes. Right. Great. You can wear a little bit more clothes. It's not going to kill you. Right? Yeah. So she I mean, was her choice to be almost sexualized to a certain degree. As in she's sexualizing herself? To a certain degree. Yeah. Right? I think that toes the line between victim blaming. Yeah. I think I think that's close. Mm -hmm. What I'm trying to say is like if you go and wear something out in public, don't be expected to or don't be surprised when people reciprocate what you're showing them. Yeah, when people react. When they react in a way that you're what almost you're wearing, expecting. You're not wearing. Right. Yeah, I know. I think it, it, it does tell, tell that line between, okay, was she asking for it, right? Because she's mm -hmm. wearing skimpy clothes. Or, you know, was the guy in the wrong for staring at her with his male gaze? I mean, I think it's open to interpretation, mm -hmm. but it's just kind of like, ugh. I mean, do you ask women to cover up in the gym? No. But then should they expect, not expect, but understand that they might get looks? Mm -hmm. Probably so. I think you're right. So what we're really saying is people should be harder. <laughs> yeah. That was the takeaway I took from it, at least. That's what we're saying. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> cool. Should we get on to the next clip? Yeah. So, do okay. we understand what's going on there first? Oh, it seemed like he was lifting weights, and I'm not a gym person, so he's lifting heavy items, and it seems like the guy, maybe he works for the gym, he touched the weight? Yeah, so there's a couple things here, right? And and the, the moral of this video is supposed to be, are women the problem? Mm. The answer being, hopefully, no. Right, mm -hmm. not just the, the issue, right? We've seen a couple of clips up where women have been the issue, mm -hmm. but this is where men have been the issue, right? right. So giving the bit of the balance to end the, end the story off. No spoilers, not too many spoilers, hopefully. But for me, that's like, one, we have a cardinal offense there, right? Mm -hmm. When you're doing big lifts, you don't just kick the weight out of somebody's hand. 
Right. Because that could have broken his back and that could have been a huge, yeah. huge issue, right? Number one. Number two, the guy doesn't look... You know, he's not wearing like a shirt that says where he's working. Right. It's just a generic shirt. Now, a lot of like pri uh, uh, smaller gyms don't have like, you know, LA fitness mm -hmm. shirts and stuff, right? So it's right. difficult to you say if he's actually them. working or right. not. But A, he handled it terribly. Yeah. B, it looks like a specific gym. Like it's not a, you know, LA fitness. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not that kind of place because I think there was a boxing ring in the background. Yeah, so maybe a small so independent gym. A small independent gym where it seems like that's kind of what that area is for because he's got plates underneath it. And, you know, the expectation is if you're lifting heavy weights, you're gonna make a noise. Right. And if you're gonna if you're gonna lift them like that, you're gonna make some some noise. Right. Why that guy came over and thought like he owned the house and couldn't just say, hey, could you like chill out for just like five seconds and went full steam and just you know assaulted the guy, pushed him. Yeah. Like I don't know what was going on, but that was not the right way to handle that. Right. He seems like a very very big hothead. Yeah. I mean, you've told someone to leave, right? You've shouted in their face. Mm -hmm. The other person has gotten upset with you. You've told them to leave, and then you're going to shove them when they've said, "I have to get my stuff. I have to leave. Yeah. I'm going to leave." Why then? Why then get in his way and shove? I just the whole video is bizarre, but yeah. it seems like those sort of like real beefy guys are the problem, actually. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, big big beefy guys. It depends if you're natural and if you've got testosterone mm -hmm. boosters, right? Uh, you know, there's there is there is that kind of issue, but there is also people are assholes sometimes. Yeah. Like, whether you're a man or female, right. it doesn't really matter. The gym can be a toxic place. Yeah. Which is unfortunate, right? And what we're trying to do is just, you know, build etiquette and say, look, they've got an issue with somebody at the gym, go talk to them, mm -hmm. right? Don't just go aggressively. Don't you know, get in someone's be face. Be yourself. And, it's, you know, yeah. which we're trying to teach kind of men how to be properly to a certain degree on the channel as well, right? <laughs> so, like, you know, the, the guy who was doing the lift, I think actually reacted relatively well, mm -hmm. right? I would have tried and knock the guy out because, like, that was <laughs> uncalled for. Men are the problem. Men are the problem. This man in particular <laughs> is the problem. But, you know, he kept his cool relatively well. He got pushed. He didn't react badly. He did not push too the badly. guy back. He didn't back. push the guy he back. He didn't escalate start... the topic. Yeah, I mean, he, he If reacted. anything, tried to de-escalate the topic. He did yeah. walk off. He did try and grab his camera at the end, right? Yeah. So I think he was actively trying to remove himself from that situation. And I think he acted really well. And that's where I kind of wanted to end the, the point on, was like, that guy did really well. So, yeah. So there are there is hope for some men. Absolutely. <laughs> Not all men. Not all men. <laughs> so if you made it to the end of the video, we thank you for keeping with us on the, on that voyage. Uh, if you liked our content, great. Subscribe, comment below if you have anything to add, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye.